Hey, um, just let you know we got a we got a pool um, just built. It's been a while since I've vlogged. No, I'm just joking. This is not even my house. Um, they did let me in the backyard. I'll let you know why I'm what I'm doing in their backyard um, after the intro. Okay, I'm here because Tasha saw something on Craigslist about somebody having some free wood. Um, but the trick is you have to take it apart. I don't mind taking a pressure treated wood as costly as uh, wood is right now. And I got to build the chicken coop and the produce stand. Uh, so I'm going to use all this wood. And that's what she said. And uh, nobody wants to do free labor. Like they won't want free wood. They want free wood. But they don't want to do the work to get the free wood. So I don't mind. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take all this down. Uh, I took the slats right here down on the sides. Uh, right here, we have the, the deck right here. I didn't even know they had. So I'm taking, I got eight, eight foot pieces here of some two by sixes. And I have some like uh, six foot pieces here. Those might be 10, 10 foot. So, uh, but I did already put some stuff in my truck of the top of the decking. So that's all in there. Uh, but I'm getting this all tore up here, and uh, I'm going to get this today, and I'm going to come back and get that maybe two or three different loads. Or I might get one load, uh, just depends. Uh, I, my buddy Mike at the pond said, uh, while well, I'm in St. Louis, as you're seeing this, I'm already back. But as I'm in St. Louis, he said he has a trailer that uh, I can have. It's a little, it's a smaller trailer, and it got kind of, kind of uh cocked a little bit messed up so i just need to, uh, to bend the back bend the frame back a little bit but he says it's good enough to do what i'm doing now just don't put nothing uh like a whole car on it or something like that so i'm going to get that uh trailer get it back here uh get the kink out of it and um go ahead and weld probably a, a bracket on it but other than that i'm going to get this right now i'll meet you back probably when i get i might talk when i get done with this or meet you back at the house because i know we're doing bird feeders if it doesn't rain we're doing bird feeders um deer feeders uh hummingbird feeders uh bird houses we're going to do some of that stuff for the, the memorial for ariana try to start getting that together um and start lining you know what we're going to do about that so um i will i gotta go to work i gotta get this done and get out there backyard looking creepy on this camera okay i'm getting out of here got a load here i'm about to uh ratchet strap down um, but that's a good haul. That's probably like I would say five hundred dollars worth of lumber that I wouldn't have to buy now. So I'll uh, chickens would be happy and um, produce stand. Um, I'm going to get the other boards here. I don't want to cut them in half. Uh, they're like sixteen foot long, so that is freaking amazing. Um, those the, those probably run twenty dollars a piece. Um, but uh, if you get them in the store, so I'm getting the deck boards from the pool later um, So I can get the whole strips and the joists underneath are like 16 foot long so that that's a plus two So I'm gonna have plenty of wood uh, with the pallets in this to do all the projects I want to do around there for now, so I want to thank the gentleman here Scott for uh, for letting me uh, get this wood um, It's gonna be going to good use uh, so I will uh, be back probably in about three or four days to get the rest of it. So see you guys at the house Okay, made it home. Um, Tasha just helped me get all the wood out the truck So I drove back to the property and just dumped it out there. So that wasn't uh, It took like 15 minutes um, I'm gonna show you the bird houses But the other day I used the pole saw and cut all the little branches off up to about 20 or 30 foot so there's no lambs to hang bird houses on now so we're gonna have to get brackets to put on the tree to put bird houses on and bird feeders so didn't think that out uh but i will show you here this is uh the little i had to get three different colors so i got a little projects of bird houses these are fly through bird houses uh so you put bird seed in there and they got a little glass uh these are glass too but they actually light up they're solar there's, let me cut this off 
they're actually solar power too so they, they actually light up uh there's another one there's a hummingbird feeder um we have this one here contraption here it is a they got the bird bar thing whatever that granola whatever you know what i'm talking about uh, the soot bar whatever you call them things and then they have the bird feeder uh, bird bath uh, all goes in the ground there i'm probably gonna put that out uh, with her memorial i got these if the branches are too high i can put a, a a line on it where we can drop drop it and then raise it back up on the pulley systems um, i'll get some more of those i definitely need probably at least three three more because i have two for those three of those and maybe that too uh but uh we're gonna go outside and show you um what we're gonna do here uh i'll get my other camera i guess out here uh but she's going to be putting i guess she already gorilla, gorilla glued this so we went ahead and put the gorilla glue on there and uh yeah a little bit more because it did seep all the way through but now it's kind of kind of on there uh but we'll see that but gorilla glue um works for almost on anything um those eggs are you're saying those are eggs not the brown things you can't it's a little clear well oh, a little clear you can't see them on here but that brown stuff is not That's eggs good. that is droplings eggs <laughs> droplets but we still got the crickets crickets alive uh so we've been keeping apples in there for moisture uh we're gonna put some more in there uh but there's two containers. One of them's going to be dirt in there to, so they can lay the eggs and put the eggs in the dirt. Uh, that's going to be in here. Then after a while, we'll put them in there. They can hatch. She's going to be the mastermind of all that. Um, and I already talked to him about the, I already talked to him about the, uh, the trees that somebody cut all the branches off. So, uh, didn't think that all out. We're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna fix it. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna show you the 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 chicken the chicken coop well the brooder box for the chicks that's coming um, the end of April and then the first of June we got another half coming so I'm gonna show you that real quick out there and uh, it's about all. So today is not gonna be a lot of putting up bird bird feeders like I thought it was. So uh, let me get to uh, get out here and show you this this bird brooder chicken brooder what the freak i'm talking about okay it is a nice day out here it's been nice all day i think it's supposed to rain tomorrow but uh so got to do what we got to do I, we did put the the nails we found on the side of the road are, are are in between the holes of the of the tarp we put the tarp up just so the moisture doesn't get inside uh for when we got the chicks uh we got this down so the wind doesn't blow uh so tasha helped me put all that up and we put these different uh, deals up. Can you pull one of those off for me? Sorry, guys. I got my hands full with a Texas pork rib. Uh, so that's one of them. That's one of them. We have a piece of plywood there that's going to go a 4x4 four four sheet here to cover that up. And uh, so we'll have this with no heat lamp. Have this with two heat lamps so it stays warm back here. At nighttime, I have it on a timer. So it'll be... Uh, It'll be on just like uh, maybe 8 o'clock at night to like 9 in the morning. Then it'll shut off. Uh, so we we want about 80 degrees, 80, 85 degrees uh, all the time back here. So if they get too hot, they can always go to the front. Uh, and we'll have the water and everything in here. Uh, other than that, uh, we're just waiting on the chickens. Is there anything else that you was going to... Uh-uh. Just waiting on the chicken. We oh, got this is new seven different varieties, honey. What did you say? I said, oh, this is new to me. Oh, this is new to her, and the crickets are new to me, so she's going to be doing the crickets. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, but uh, we're going to get to doing that right now. But that's this for now. You'll see the chickens in about a couple weeks. So. Yay. I get to come out here and play with them. Mm hmm So they can follow me around the yard. Do you let them out when they're little or no? You can. But they're going to be in the garden and stuff. Okay. Go pro stop recording. Can you say it? I'm wrapping my mouth full. Go pro stop recording. Okay, we're here at the truck again. Uh, we got the Gorilla Glue, and we're going to put a little bit more on there. Yeah, because there's some spots, like, if they get up there, they'll be able to get under there and get out, which don't want that. we don't want them to get out everywhere. So. Okay, so we're going to do the second time of this, and then she might show you. Are you going to show them how to do the stuff in there now today or no? 
Okay. For, yeah, I could show okay, first thing to do is get that cap off. <laughs> yeah, get the... Just having to put a second layer on because this one didn't stay like the other one did. Normally, I'd use like caulk because you could just push it down and it squishes in there and it stays. Could have done that with but, a, like a like a uh, putty knife. Yeah, but last time I did that, I did it with. But we heard gorilla caulk. glue works really good, so that's what we did that for. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Keeps relationships together. That's what I heard. Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, we'll be back under the uh, patio and show you the. Uh, what to do then. So. Okay, this is our uh, giddy up. We got the junkyard dog chain, the JYD, uh, to hold that down so the Gorilla Glue sticks to there better. And we're gonna go inside and, uh, oh, I only think I showed you all the pallets I got yesterday. Yes, I was busy. Uh, I've got 60 pallets. That's good enough to build the whole chicken coop and probably build, build the produce stand too. So didn't have to pay for any of that. Uh, Maybe I did show you. I don't remember. I'm getting older, so. But that is that. We got plenty, plenty to go. Uh, do what we got to do. So okay, let's go back here. See this stuff here? Or no. Yeah, I was letting that that one dry out. Okay. A lot of bees and wasps around here that don't pay rent. They do not need to be here. Okay, we got some sunflower seeds I want to plant out there. I know the deer's like that though, but I was trying to plant it just to have the sunflower seeds. Okay, um, we're going to we're going to take a break here and, and get this stuff straightened out, or we're good to go right now. Um, I need to. You need to take a break and think yeah. about it. Okay, we'll be right back after these messages. Okay, um, she is cutting this littler one, so we have another um, compartment here, but she's gonna cut that and put the metal. Put a screen on top of that one too. Metal screen on top of that because what is, why? This one is for, you put some kind of medium, oops. You put some kind of, um, like you put dirt or whatever in here and the crickets will stick their butts in the dirt and lay eggs and that's how you get more crickets um you keep this moist and you put the screen on top of it because some of the crickets will dig in the dirt and eat the eggs so you don't want them to be able to get in there but this would be where they lay eggs so that's how crickets are made folks not storks so if you thought storks brought crickets you're sadly <laughs> mistaken She's turning that lid up. Good. It's okay. I probably just put the Grilla screen glue. on there. And Grilla glue helps. It, it'll fix everything. I may just put the screen on there bigger and then just put the okay. top. So, I mean, if this one breaks, it's, okay. it's fine. I think. Yeah. I don't know. She's getting real crazy with it. I'm acting like Brandon. Okay. With well, my... once we... Oops. That didn't sound good. Yeah, it's all messed up. No, it's not. It still got the... Okay, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. We only got so much Gorilla Glue. <laughs> okay, we'll be right back with you after this is... Demolished. Yeah, annihilated. Okay, I got a different camera angle so you can see everything. Um, I want to tell you now, though, this right here is catfish food. Okay, so you feed catfish this. So in turn... We're actually feeding this to the crickets so we can feed the crickets to the catfish. Or any fish. It could be any. Well, it could be bluegill, uh, brim, a.k.a. brim. Because uh, I want to say. Panfish. Uh, Some people yeah. call it blue. Pan Why do they call fish. it panfish? I don't know. Shaped like a pan? No, I don't. I have no clue. I well, have Put them in a pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is so. Anyway, the. Um, the crickets, of course, need water to stay alive, so you can get like a top or something and put just a little bit. You don't want to put a lot in there because crickets will drown themselves. Or you can also take like a paper towel or something and soak it with water and they'll suck the water 
out of that or um you can get stuff like potatoes what about a potato? anything with <laughs> anything with like water or something in it they'll they'll um suck the juice out of it because i think like in in here yeah. i think he put like apples or something so that's why you see fruits and stuff in there when you get them out of the store but they also need protein to stay alive and we're gonna crush and these up you can use big. you can use the floating uh can fish this? what can i cut this now so i'm gonna put some in there now yeah right. you can um Put the floating, it doesn't have to be just primarily catfish food, but it could be just any pond food. Because when I did the research a while ago, it listed a lot of different things that that they needed to eat. And I noticed that some of the same stuff was in the fish food also. Um, I think you could also use like the, the fish food flakes to feed them. It has like nutrients as well in it. Um, but all I'm going to do is get this and crush it up to like a little fine dust. Because this is not, the fish food is not really hard. So it's fairly, fairly easy to crush up. Okay. So while she's but, doing that, we, uh, did you show, we, we have this uh, glu oh. glued up. So it's, it's, it's going to dry. And we're going to yeah. put that over that. This goes on top of here you also need a spray bottle to kind of like keep it moist but um the top goes on to here and you put this in the thing with the crickets and what they will what they will do is stick their butts in the ground and lay eggs you i put the screen on here so that they can't go back in the dirt and dig the eggs out get and hungry. eat them. Yeah, because yeah, I read that some of them will do that. So, so, so what we're doing with this now is going to put it. Let's put it in here to show them because uh, we'll crush the food up later. Yeah, but this you put that in there goes in with like the top so. on it, and they hop around, stick their butts in there. Of course, you have a house source. You can put like I'll cut these up and just stack them Let or me, something. Uh, grab that camera for me, and I'm going to try to give them a, uh, a rundown of what we're doing while we're doing it. Oops. Okay. Oh, you're good. And then go ahead and do it like you're building it. But you put these in here. These is just for shelter. I'm not gonna leave them whole, but you just stick you them. Said whole? <laughs> <laughs> but you stick them in there so that they have somewhere to go, like for shelter, and they sit in there or whatnot. And I try to keep like maybe that in the middle or something, and put the food and water on one you put end. put this on top of that or just somewhere else? Or you could sit this, yeah, just random. So like they could either drink that or suck the water out of there. And then I'll put a little top of food over here and they'll eat that. Okay. So just pretend this is in a little cap. It's not going to be in this bag. Yeah. Once I crush it up, I'm going to put it in like a little. Don't do that. A little. So uh, just pretend. Yeah, okay. just a little pot. And like I said, with this. It's gonna look like this, Bam. and they'll stick Pretty. their butts through the through the it holes. Takes the shape in the, of Alabama, don't it? Missouri, Missouri. They are gonna stick their butts okay. through there. So that way you have house. Oh, we just put one house in there. Or are you gonna like deck it out and put two? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it and maybe stack them okay. and turn them like so they have plenty okay. of room. And once I forget how long, cause it's been a while, but once they start laying the eggs in here, you then take this out and that's what the other small one is for i'll take this out put it in there and after a while you'll see like very like the the eggs will hatch and the smaller crickets will be in there so when they get a little bigger i'll reintroduce them into here and just start all over just keep doing that vicious cycle okay well i appreciate her showing this and maybe when she gets her channel going more she could probably be doing all this on hers but for now i'm going to use it to my advantage and get views off of it <laughs> no. but uh, we're going to do this um I'm, we're going to finish this up i'm not sure what else we're going to do around here today I, I know i need to do a couple sheets of drywall before the electrician comes to run the sub panel so i just need a couple sheets done so i can move all the drywall to one side that's pretty much all i have planned to do today uh because the bird house thing is going to be push back just a little bit so oh and i also think cornmeal is another thing that they said that you can feed them cornmeal? where they could eat yeah okay. a lot we of people have cornmeal yeah we got cornmeal in there okay. but 
I never used it. I just saw that and I know that the fish food works, so I just stick with what I know. So if, if you want to eat crickets, you want to feed the cornmeal from the inside out, you don't have to batter the outside. Yeah, but we're not eating the crickets though, so. Chocolate covered. Okay. We're not eating the crickets, so we're not feeding the crickets vegetables and cornmeal okay. and all of that. Okay. I think some people that do use it for that, they feed it like organic stuff. Okay. Do um, massages, wagyu, yeah. massages, and do the that's wagyu. If, that's if you're crickets. into eating crickets for protein. We're not eating these. These are fishing crickets. Okay. All right. Well, let me get this done, and um, we will see you wherever we see you next. Hold your horses. Okay, I got my first piece cut at 92 and a half. This one's 92 and a half all the way up. You always want to measure the top part and the bottom part because the wall can go this way or this way. So you might have 92 and a half down here and maybe 93 and a half up here. So you want to always measure the bottom and this is four foot. So we measure from here to here. So over there to there and then there to there to make sure they're, they're square. Uh, so I got this one cut already. This one goes right into uh, into place here. And I will pick it up a little bit. And I'm, I got, I need two hands for this. That's what she said. Uh, but uh, I'm just trying to show you guys. Let me, let me see if I can do this a little better like so. There you go. But this is gonna be raised off the ground about an inch. But that fits snug right into there. Uh, then I'm gonna place the other one up top here that I'm about to snap off and put up top. Uh, then I will talk to you as soon as I get done with this. Um, I am going to put another piece up here eventually right here, but I'm gonna wait till all my pieces are in so I can use pieces for this side so not just cut a brand new sheet. Uh, Cause I might just go straight up and down eight foot with it and so have no seam and do the same thing with the other side if I have enough left over to do it like that. But we're coming along. I'm gonna get this part done because the electrician is gonna come in from up here. He's gonna he's gonna put a uh, he's gonna put a, a cobra head right here. They call it a cobra head, I guess. That goes up the, for the weather weather. I don't know if you can see that one all the way over there, but it, it's like a candy cane, and it uh, it goes in from here so the weather can't you know the water can't go up there. And uh, he's gonna come into here put the, the sub panel about right there so i want to get this wall clear of all this drywall so i don't want to keep moving it three or four times so i'm going to go ahead and move it one more time once i get this put up i'm going to move it on that wall and keep it there and get it out of his way and then he's going to put the sub panel that i have up here and i got breakers and everything over there to to do the other job that i need to do but uh that's that so let me get this done and uh, i'll be right back with you gopro stop recording And as you can tell, I am sweating in here already because the insulation is working, so it's pretty warm in here. Um, but uh, as you guys know from the last uh, drywall video, I put these lines on it, but this isn't manly. Manly men do not do this, but uh, smart men do. But you put a line all the way down, so you don't have to worry about, you know, keep tracing, keep tracing where the line is to put the, you know, where the two by four is to put the, the screws. So I just do that real quick just to, to get it over with. Um, but I'm going to put lines up here, get this all screwed in, and I am done with the drywall part that I needed to do today. So I will see you wherever I see you, maybe inside. I don't know. See what Tosh is up to. Go post stop recording. Okay, I'm back out the sweatshop there. Um, got the drywall up. The drywall moved to the other wall, so I'm good on that. Tasha is up here, made the little fancy house cut and all that for them projects yep the house <laughs> projects the inner government city housing um got the, the 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 food all crumbled up uh crumbs to bricks or bricks to crumbs actually and she used my um my cooking show stuff that i'm gonna be using for my cooking show so i think i can still use it it's just catfish food it's good it's just protein 
So I'm gonna clean it. It's out. okay. I don't. It, uh, I'm gonna do whatever. They'll see when I do my cooking show. You'll see what it's about. So it's not. It's not a big deal. Okay. You got the poop. The poop box right there. <laughs> the poop box. Yep. And other than that, um, guys, I'm probably going to wrap this vlog up in the inside uh, once we sit down for the day and wrap the day up. Uh, other than that, do you have anything other that you, you need to say? Um, no, I just put them a little little shelter in there. But? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put the, get a little top and put them some food, put food in there. Uh, and then I think that's... It besides me having to, we waiting on the top to dry so that we can put the, the lid on there. Cause basically it's just gonna look just like this one. So what we're gonna do with the, the, the poop box, that's gonna be, that's gonna be inside. Go ahead and show them real quick. Uh, and put them right there then they're going to do their little thing their little dance and then put it in there and then once that gets full what do you do like another what few days like i have to i have, to, have to research, research, it research again because i can't remember how long you leave it in there but you leave it in there long enough for them to lay the eggs in there and then, and then you take that out and put it in here then you put another one of those then in put there one of those so in. you got to rotate okay so we'll, we'll do that okay well um with that said i'm gonna is that all you need to say or yeah okay i'm sorry i didn't um uh, i didn't want to butt in there it's okay okay let's verify okay well um we're gonna go inside in a bit uh we're gonna relax out here probably uh get me something to get some water to drink uh to rehydrate and uh maybe just relax for a while see what uh tomorrow's in store check the weather well, I do got stuff on the table. I'll show you when we get inside. So please remind me to to remind my remind me to let them know what's on the table. Okay. Oh, so, it's on the table. You gotta see. You gotta hold on a minute. Stop. Just stop. Hold your horses. You through? I'm through. Go post. Stop recording. Okay, she's out here letting them be halfway free. They're not free free, but they're freer than they were. Well, I just noticed they couldn't climb up, up the sides of this for whatever reason. The last container I had, they could climb up the sides, but I guess this one's too slick for them to do it. Mm. Okay, they look a little happier in my mind. Makes me feel happier. Okay, there's still some in there. No, this is this. Day. Oh, 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 I can't say that, Peter. Those are sleeping. I these took, are sleeping. Yeah, and I took these ones out so that the the ones that's woke wouldn't bite on these because they will uh -oh. turn into cannibals. Uh oh. Don't want that. They got a little door right there. But that just means that they didn't have, they wanted more to eat. But they should be okay now. They got food, shelter, and water. Okay. Well, hopefully. And I'm going to put the top on here too to yeah. just okay nothing get in there, you know. Yeah. These wasps might be hungry. They'll eat them too. Oh, well, yeah. So I'll put the top on there and leave them out here on the patio. Okay. We'll get some singing us, some crickets serenading us. All right. Well, uh, I'll talk to you in a little bit. I started doing that. I'm going to make me some gooey butter cakes because I'm headed to St. Louis. Um, and by the time you see this video, I'll be back from St. Louis. But the pawn shop on Route 3, right near the uh, Cokie Police Station, right there, the guys are real real nice and they really like my gooey butter cakes banana breads and uh pickles so they want seven gooey butter cakes five banana breads and ten jars of pickles so i'm busy um, I, here's one right here and i got one already wrapped up there you go and gotta go gotta get my stuff together and um then i'll talk to you at the table before i leave uh this vlog and i will show you what i have in store for the future that's been sitting on the table for quite a while that i need to get uh get done for a vlog so go post stop recording okay as promised um i think you're about to take a nap for work um she bought some food from where is this um happy days place i think Happy days. Oh, it's the milk, the dairy thing. With the little polar bear. Right by the post office. Right by the post office. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm hmm Okay. Happy days. That's uh, the Fonz, right? Okay. <laughs> um, 
And speaking of the post office, I have a lot of stuff right, right here. I want to show you. Uh, I got boxes. I got boxes and I got some envelopes. I got about four envelopes. Um, I don't want to show you all the addresses from every, everybody that sent me stuff. But we are going to be uh, opening these up um, tomorrow. And as you're seeing this vlog, it's already out. So check that mid-March unboxing out. This is not working. Just set it down. Okay. And, uh, uh, oh, and I have... I have to show you um, what I'm doing a vlog on. This is all going to be on one vlog, I think. I'm going to start off the day with, uh, can you take this, uh, unveil, unveil that. Okay, that is the pellet gun, and uh, I'm going to do that first off um, and sight that in. Then I'm going to go with the GoPro and start. I got the attachments on my RC, so I'm going to um, work on that camera there. And then we got some um, special ops um, night vision. So we're going to check out daytime and night vision. I think it has an SD card in it. But I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, but, you know, the situations and stuff that was going on. So I'm going to get around to doing all these on one um, video. I guess I can just call it. Adult toys. Oh, 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 yeah. Adult toys. I didn't mean it like that. But uh, she said it was okay to call it adult toys. I think that it's adult toys. It's clearly okay. Well, with that said, um, are you anything that you wanted to mention? No. But she doesn't like raw onions. She likes sauteed onions. So I'm going to dig into that on my burger. How yeah, was the okay. how was the food? Okay, not happy days. <laughs> no. Oh, happy day. Is that a song? Happy? No. I mean, that's what took me so long. I mean, I understand some places are not they cook to order, but don't have your customers wait twenty five minutes for <laughs> old fries and a burned burger. Oh wow. She usually doesn't give bad, bad, bad. Like if she doesn't really like it, she doesn't wanna Yeah, that's my first time going there. Y'all yeah. won't be going back. Won't be going back. No happy days. So if you're in the Hernando area, uh happy days are right by the post office. Or is that Nesbitt? I don't know where it is. Well I don't know Nesbitt's the post office. It's right freaking there. It's right by next door to Nesbitt Post Office. So I did taste the fry. Yeah, they wouldn't even hot when I. Yeah. They gave me stale fries and burned burger. Wow. See. Look, show them, show them that. Can you see that? Keep going. Look how black it is. Look at that. It's blacker than Tasha. I'm eating it because I'm hungry and I spent my money for it. But okay. I won't go back. Well, if you want a burger that is the color of this microphone, black. Then go to Happy Days with cold fries, greasy burgers, and dry, well, greasy buns and dry burgers. Okay. Well, with that said, guys, I am going to wrap this vlog up, and I will see you at the uh, next vlog. I'm going to thank you for your con continued prayers, support, um, kind words, um, and I, I really do thank you guys. And for your, your mail that you've been sending, I've been getting a lot more letters. So uh, if you want to send some letters or postcards, we'll be happy to read them. Just write on there. You can read this on on uh, the video. So, Okay. Got to go. Go post stop recording. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And 
Have a great day, unless you meet other plans. <laughs>